Hello and welcome back to Pokemon Fire Red Nuzlocke. I'm Jay from the Game vs UK. And just so you know, when I'm recording this, I'm recording this during uh, E3 on Monday. I'm actually doing this right before I'm about to watch Ubisoft's conference um, in about a couple of hours or so. So now you know when I'm recording this. So if this looks a little bit funny, it's because I've been recording um, the live stream and giving my thoughts on it live. Uh, so now you know. That's pretty much what I've been doing. So. I am live on twitch.tv. As per usual. Um, we're still grinding. I don't think. Personally. I do not think. That. I'm trying to think. I do not think that. Um. I do not think we're ready for the for the E3 for the for the uh, Elite Four. Um, I don't think we're ready for the Elite Four, but um, yep, anyone could join our Discord by uh, using the uh, the exclamation mark Discord in the Twitch chat. So we're pretty we got a we're pretty small at the moment so I don't really tend to let people know um, but if you are on Twitch you can use uh, exclamation mark discord uh, to go to our Twitter and it is free it's no like you don't have to be like some subscriber like some people do it is just free to come in and chat with us in our downtime when we're available and other gamers and stuff so be nice be nice and say hello and all that jazz. Behave yourselves. Alright, so let's get back to training. Yeah, everyone wants to battle. So, now I want to get uh, Godzilla up to level 60. And I guess then I'll probably try and get them up to maybe level 60. I don't know about 65. I don't know about that. PG stream. <laughs> well, I didn't say anything about it being a PG stream. I just mean, you know, be kind to everyone. That's all I mean. You can curse if you want, but... I try not to curse as much anymore. Because, you know, it's just like... What's the point? They really need to do it. PG-13. <laughs> Peggy. Peggy-12. So I guess I can talk about E3, I suppose. <laughs> Though by the time by the time you guys are watching this on YouTube, you'll be like, "My God, this is dated." <laughs> That's how far back this is, by the way, because I don't know when this is going to be uploaded. Not for a while, man. Not for a while. I really need to catch up on stuff. This isn't going to be uploaded for quite a while. Hmm. <laughs> But, um, naturally I watched EA. Poor EA. You could tell them they were trying, but no one cared. There was hardly anyone in the room. It was small. People just didn't clap. And they clearly were trying desperately to make people clap. They were really trying hard to, you know get people hyped and interested but you could just tell no one cared no one cared going in no one cared coming out for the most part i'm sure there might be a one or a few people that are like oh yeah it's football and stuff but like for the most part most people just did not care bless them they tried the only thing i was somewhat interested in was like the unravel 2 though i've not played Unravel 1 apart from that i mean you know And then I watched Microsoft, and I will say one thing, Microsoft was actually better than I thought it was. I will say that. Microsoft was actually better than I thought it was. Like, it, it straight up actually was. Um, 
Some big reveals was the Jump Force, the anime anime crossover, Dragon Ball, One Piece, Naruto. Uh, Death Note is going to be in there as well, which is going to be interesting. So we've got another... We've got another... Um, another Jump Stars. We got some uh, DLC for Cuphead announced, which I'm kind of happy because I love Cuphead. It's a great game. Um, so I'm more for that. They shoo Kingdom Hearts at Microsoft's conference. I did find that a little odd. But there you go. Kingdom Hearts fans, there you go. And I think another big reveal. I mean, you're talking about the ones that I'm interested in. Another big reveal was DMC5. Yes, it's Devil May Cry 5 is uh, has been confirmed and announced. So that's a thing. I, I mean, I still haven't played DMC3 or 4. Um, I've played 2 and I didn't like 2. I played 1 and I really liked 1. I need to play DMC. I need to play DMC3 and then if it, I don't have 4 at the moment. Um, but yeah, I, I really need to get this. I need to read. I, I really need to get the free. I did not like Devil May Cry 2. Apart from that, just like shooters. I don't care about shooters, but sure. <laughs> sure. Like, if you care about that. Um, oh, and Microsoft basically said, oh, hey, we're buying everything. We're rich. We're buying everything. Like, they were just going ham. Like, I will say, even though I don't care normally for Microsoft and what they show, because their games, like, their exclusives I don't care about, right? And they show a lot of third-party stuff anyway, so it's just kind of like, well, I'm not going to play this on an Xbox console. I'm just going to play this on the PS4. Because it's most likely going to be on the PS4, right? If it's not exclusive. Or maybe it'll be on Steam only or something, I don't know. But you know what I mean. Um, so I don't really care for them. But I will say that the conference overall was good. They 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 brang a strong game. They brang they brang a strong game. That conference was strong. There were some boring parts, but I mean I feel like there are a lot of boring parts so far altogether. It's just like <laughs> Microsoft, of course they're rich, man. <laughs> they buy everything. They buy everything. They're buying all the companies. They're buying all the companies. They're hella rich, man. But um, yeah, I think those are the only ones that I was personally interested in. I'm trying to trying to think if there's any, like anything else that really showed. Oh no, wait, Circio, which seems to be uh from the same people that did Dark Souls. And it seems to be like a Dark Souls slash, like a Dark Souls type game, but in Japan, like in feudal Japan. Naturally, when I saw it, me and Video Game Super were like, Onimusha? Yeah, right. <laughs> Capcom. <laughs> Capcom. So, um. That looked interesting, though. I'm all for, like, samurai games and stuff. So that looked cool. I don't think it's an exclusive. I hope it's not, because I ain't buying an Xbox for that. I'm telling you not. I'll have to check. I don't think it's an exclusive. Um, oh, yeah, there was also... Um, I mean, uh, VGS was happy for it. Tales of Vesperia, which is an uh, older Tales game that was on Xbox over here. Um, I think it was PS3 in Japan. Uh, basically, uh, we're getting the full version of the game, because apparently we were cut out from a lot of the content of the game. Not sure why, but uh, now apparently we get to play it, and it's not Xbox exclusive. It is on everything, I believe, even the Switch. So hey, I might give it a try because when I watched the uh, video game Super play it, I was legit interested. I was like, you know what? That's the reason why I, I tried Tales of Exilia, and I really like Exilia. So yeah, I'm, I'm all for it. I think the Tales, I think the Tales games overall are pretty good. In my opinion, pretty good RPGs. Um, have I heard about? No, I have not. I have not. At least I don't think I have anyway. But yeah, like Microsoft shoot a lot of stuff that are third party, and I think that's what gave them the strong conference. You know what I mean? 
not so much the exclusive. I think most people didn't really care for the exclusives. Um, those those are the, like I think the big ones for me that are like, oh okay. Like I can see myself. Damn it, I don't want to surf. I can see myself being interested. And then we got to Bethesda, which was 2.30am in the morning, by the way. I re I, I, I'm not, not going to lie, I kind of regret watching it. I mean, I watched it, right? And I know this is going to sound very blasphemy, but I want to say I was more bored watching Bethesda than I was EA. EA was shorter than Bethesda. I felt like Bethesda was boring and was just dragging on. And I really just want Beth I, I really just want Bethesda to just get on with it. I was like, show me something I care about or I'm going to bed because this is not worth watching. You know? Like mate. <laughs> mate. I was bored. I was so bored. And then they just shoot more stuff that we've already seen and stuff. And I'm like, yo, I don't care about any of these shooters, man. I just don't care. You gotta show me something I'm gonna be interested in. And like, you know, fall I mean people like Fallout, um good to you guys. I I I, I don't really um in shooters just don't interest me. I'm not saying they are bad. I'm just saying they don't interest me personally. I find them uninteresting to play. Boring. They don't in they, you know, they're just not my type of games. Um you know. But overall, Microsoft did better than I thought. EA, poor EA, I guess. Bethesda, <laughs> Snoresville. And uh, I just watched Square, and wow. What I can say is, why did Square have a conference this year? Like, I'm serious. Square's conference was so short. Literally, pretty much, apart from like, these two new IPs that they shoot very little of. There wasn't really much going. It was half an hour. <coughs> it was half an hour. It was so short. When it ended, I was like, what? 30 minutes? 30 minutes? You serious? 30 minutes. 30 minutes. I couldn't believe it. I was like, no. 30 minutes. You serious? Like, you actually serious? <laughs> yeah, it was so short. They shoot Dragon Quest XI, which I was expecting. And, you know, I was already interested anyway, because it's Dragon Quest, and I like Dragon Quest. Yeah, and actually, I want to get it. And, you know, I'm already there, I'm already there, so that's fine. They shoot some Final Fantasy XI, like DLC, I guess. Uh, good for those to play Final Fantasy XI. And Final Fantasy XI is going to cross over with with um monster hunter maybe from the looks of it and maybe dragon quest gonna cross over with final fantasy i don't know how that's going to work they're completely different art styles but that seems to be a thing but um uh, i don't know the new L the new ip didn't really interest me personally and of course we saw more team raider because i forget that square is also team raider now um, can't really get in, I've never been able to really get into Tomb Raider, but hey, people, people like Lara Croft and Tomb Raider, then maybe it's a good thing for them. It was just so short and so lacking and it was hardly anything shown and I was like, is that it? Like, is that it? Honestly, since, since Square had their own conference, I was like, are they going to drop a big bomb? Like a big F-bomb? Are they going to drop something big? You know, people saying Final Fantasy 16 or something, or or whatnot, or whatnot. Who's that? I hear someone. Who is it? Oh, Nub. Nub, you're not allowed. Nub, you're not allowed to uh, go into that. I'm afraid, bud. That's uh, for um, that's for the team only. I'm afraid. I thought I changed that. Hold on a sec. Hold on a sec. I should put staff only. Sorry, bud. You are gonna have to go. Staff only. 
Sorry, bud. No, it's all right. No, it's my fault. It's my fault. I I thought I said it to private. I I thought I said it to private, so no one apart from staff members um, can get in there. So no, it's all right. I do sometimes. There's there is the general. There is the general tab. There is the general tab, but um, I'm not doing that right now. Uh, but yeah, I, I created I created a separate I created a separate thing on Discord. So maybe another time I'll hop into the general and then like anyone can come in. But at the moment, it's just for uh, teammates only. I'm afraid, bud. I'm sorry. Maybe another time. Maybe another time. But for now, I'm just in the uh, the team the teammates area. So yeah, um, and as I said, talking about a uh, square, which is kind of disappointing. Um, the next one is going to be Ubisoft, which I'm going to be watching, and then Sony's like early in the morning. That's going to be fun. But okay, I'm looking forward to Sony, and I'm looking forward to Nintendo, and that was pretty much where I was, where I was you know, where I was with E3 anyway. So, of course, like I said, by the time you're watching this, like, it'll be way over anyway. <laughs> way over. <laughs> At this rate, it'll be, it'll be uh, E3 2019 by the time this comes out. <laughs> oh, man. Jesus. If I'm even still here. 2019. Nah, I probably will be. And I don't mean dead. I mean, like, if I'm still uploading to YouTube, that's what I meant. That sounds a little ominous. If I'm still here, I might be dead. I mean, touch wood, but, mate, you never know. You just don't know. Anything could happen. Anything could happen, you know, even when you least expect it. Hopefully nothing doesn't. Yet, but you just don't know, man. You don't know. Anything can happen. It is possible. <clears throat> but in terms of Ubisoft, I don't know. Really, I don't really care too much. I haven't really got into the Assassin's Creed games. I feel like it's just too many of them. Um, honestly, the only thing I want Ubisoft to do, and I just don't think they, I don't, I just don't think they, they bother anymore. Is I would personally like it if they brought Rayman back and gave us a new Rayman game that isn't Origins, that isn't Legends, and I'm gonna be disappointed if it's like a Legends 2 or like a you know like another Legends type game, Origins type game. I personally want a 3D Rayman game like Rayman 2 or Rayman 3 personally, or if they go to do 2D, redo Rayman 1. In like that. Origins and Legends are perfectly good games. But honestly I don't want that anymore. You know. I went in and I was like okay these are fun. These don't really. This kind of just feels more like a. A platformer that isn't Rayman. But I just want Rayman to come back. To rid the plague that is the rabbits. And just get, get him back in his own platforming franchise. Like I want that to come back. Other than that, I don't really care much for what Ubisoft's got because I know they're not going to do Prince of Persia anymore. That they're done. Like it's Assassin's Creed now. Um, other than that, I think that's it. I don't think there's anything else that I'm looking forward to. So, you know, of course, in terms of like, uh, not Square, Sony. I know Spider-Man's going to be on there. Um, might see more Square stuff. I don't know. Uh, other than that, I'm not sure actually with Sony. But again. I'm normally pretty like hyped for whatever Sony has, so it depends. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see what Sony has. And Nintendo, I mean, I know what to expect from Nintendo. Smash, probably Pokemon, maybe Metroid Prime 4. Mainly Smash is what I'm thinking, and that's honestly what I expect, so can't go wrong with that. We shall see. <laughs> of course, when this gets uploaded later on, we'll see what happens there. 
And of course they revealed uh, more Spyro footage, Spyro Reignited trailer, which was like completely separate and I missed unfortunately because they were streaming on E3's YouTube as opposed to Twitch. It's kind of weird. I guess they were just doing separate showings, which I didn't know about. I saw that. I think it looks good. I think the visuals look good. The animations look really well done. The sounds look good. And I honestly like the designs of the dragons, even though people are harping on it. Honestly, I like the changes. Yeah, the subtle changes. As long as they don't go too different, you know, as long as they keep it mainly the same, my boys, it's not really, it's not really the same game, is it? Then there's no point. But uh, so far from what I've seen, I like. We also got another trailer for Team Sonic, which I have done. I have done a video on it, but I don't think I've uploaded it yet. Well, obviously by the time you're watching this, it will be uploaded before before this, way before this. But I'm going to be a bit late on that, um, talking about it and stuff. I mean, I was already pretty hyped. I played the All-Stars games. So, I've already made my predictions for, for what the rest of the cast is going to be. And I kind of want to be right, because I normally don't do predictions. But I'm... I want to be right at the characters that are going to be in that game. I want to be right. I made my predictions on where they were going with the characters and stuff. So I'm like, if I'm right, <laughs> I'd be like, yay. <laughs> my first ever prediction that I got, and, and I got it right. <laughs> that would be, that would be awesome. That would be awesome. But we'll see. I'm looking forward to it. Hopefully I have money for it when it comes out, but if I don't, I don't. <laughs> I'll just get it, like, when when the next racing game comes out. <laughs> so I'll be, a, I'll be a year behind, that's fine. I'll just get it whenever. All these games coming out. And it's like, oh, you know, if only, if only you had money. <laughs> right? Stop releasing games I want. <laughs> Damn it. Stop. Stop it! You can only go up from here anyway. Whoop. But I don't normally watch E3. I just wanted to do it once. And honestly, I've been kind of enjoying just watching it. Not so much. I mean, kind of watching it. But, like, I've been enjoying, like, commentating over it. And just talking to you guys in the chat. For those of you who have been turning up. And, you know, giving our thoughts on it. Ripping on EA and ripping and going to sleep on on certain things in Microsoft's conference. I was a, I felt like I was asleep for the entire of Bethesda. I mean, it was already late. It was already late anyway over here, and and they weren't keeping me awake. I can tell you that they will not keep me awake. I was just like, <laughs> I was like, no. <laughs> I was like, no, son. <laughs> Save me. I'm so tired. <laughs> I'm so tired. I hope Sony. I hope Sony gives me a reason to, to stay up. I really do. Again, if they show Spider-Man, I'll be fine with that because I, I like the look of Spyro. Uh, Spyro, sorry, I like the look of Spider-Man. I'm gonna get Spider-Man if eventually. So definitely, it looks good. Reminds me of the Batman Arkham games. I know some people are kind of like, they don't know how they feel about that. Because they kind of wish that maybe Spider-Man would not be like that. Because Spider-Man's not really stealthy. But yeah. Maybe that's just part of it, you know. We'll see. 